You can now gather multiple document types inside one single Canva design. This means you can now keep your entire social media campaigns, sales collaterals, or class curriculum into one single design. No more opening different Canva tabs and copying and pasting design elements from one project to the other. This update brings it all in one place. Canva calls this major improvement of their visual suite all in one, aka Doctopus, because it's like an octopus with different tentacles with different document types inside one single design. But enough of me talking, let's jump into the new Canva and discover this new feature in the second video of our Canva Create playlist. Let me show you how all of this works from the Canva editor. I am here in a document. This is a presentation document. I started as a presentation document. And you can see here the five first slides are just normal slides from a presentation document, right? These are different iteration of the thumbnail of this actual video I'm creating. But then we have two square posts right here, social media one-on-one -on -one aspect ratio posts that are on the same timeline right here, the same thumbnail view. And then if we continue clicking, this is again like a classic presentation slide. But then here I have a Canva doc with some instruction for my video. So in one single Canva design, you can see three different document types, presentation slides, one-on-one -on -one social media post, and a Canva doc. So this is pretty amazing because now I have everything I need for this one video in one doc. What if you want to add more? You would ask, well, very easy. Traditionally, you would have a plus button to add a page. So you still have that. You can click and it will add a similar page to the previous one. So you see we have little icons right here that indicate what type of document they are. Little heart for social media post, a little screen with a play button for a presentation, and a little document icon for my Canva docs. I don't want to create a Canva doc, but I want to choose another type of document. So I just click the little up arrow right here and now I can choose between any of these document types. This is pretty cool. So let's say I want to add a whiteboard in here. Well, there you go. I just choose whiteboard and now I am immediately working in a Canva whiteboard and I can start adding my stuff like sticky notes and paste some ideas, pretty much do everything I can do in a Canva whiteboard. It's just going to be adding one more document to this suite of documents I'm working with. Let me come back to this arrow button one more time because I want to show you that on top of these eight document types, you can use the more button right here to search for other document types. Uh, if I want a LinkedIn banner or LinkedIn post or whatever, I can just start typing LinkedIn and I will see all of these document types that are available to me. Now, let's say a LinkedIn background image. I can create it right here and have, for example, let's say something that is consistent with this video that I'm creating, like one design, something cool. So for example, I could come back here, select all of these elements, copy them with the Control C button, come back here and paste them, Control V. So now I have this. I can very easily grab the same background, which is this one right here. And now all I need to do is to simply reorganize my design elements right here so that they make sense on this new document type. Okay, so this may be LinkedIn background. So there you go. I could have something like this very easily created this new design because I already have all of my design ingredients right here. Like I was saying in the introduction of this video, no more switching between tabs, different Canva document open and copying stuff from one place to paste in another document. For example, let's say you really like this little octopus guy and you want to create a sticker out of this. So I could just come to page number six, copy this guy, command C, and then come back to my arrow right here and I'm going to try and find sticker. Okay, I want to print some sticker. Yeah, circular stickers. This one sounds good. So I have my shape and I can paste my octopus guy. Maybe it needs to be slightly resized so it fits the size of my sticker, maybe slightly more. So I have absolutely no issue when I print this. So there you go. Now I have a cute little sticker that I can print and paste everywhere I want. On my computer, look, I 
can have my preview. That's how they look in different size. They look very cute. I believe Canva could sponsor me to create such a cool sticker. Now, let me show you another way of resizing a page in your document. Probably the proper way. Instead of going to a specific page, in this case, this one, grab the octopus and then come to a, another page and paste it and mention that this is a sticker, you could simply select the page you wish to resize. Okay, so let's say I want to resize this page right here. So I'm selecting it. Click on the three little dots menu and you should see right here, resize page. And this will be a paid feature only. You see the little crown right here. So if you are a pro user, for example, you can use that feature. So simply click on it and it will ask you which format do you wish to resize in. Okay, so me, I'm going to go and choose social media. I want to create a reel. So TikTok or TikTok video, let's say. Okay, so I'm going to select 1080 by 1920. Click here. And what's going to happen, you see my page has been duplicated. I'm going to move it right here at the end of it. And now I can see page number 13 is now in the format of a TikTok video. So that's how you can quickly resize any document within the same workspace right here if you are a paid user. So that was my quick demo of the all-in-one Visual Suite, which is a feature that has a lot of potential. I really love this update because I feel it's going to be so useful for all sorts of Canva users, marketers, for example, who will be able to develop their entire marketing campaign or social media campaigns all in one place. They can start on a Canva whiteboard, brainstorm some ideas, some concepts for the visual identity, some concept about the pieces of content they need to create, and then move from that whiteboard to a presentation with the campaign guidelines and then from there continue creating every single piece of collateral like social media posts for every platform, banners for their social media profile, etc, etc. It could be a doc at the end with, you know, the next steps for the team to follow all in one place. So this is pretty amazing. Similarly, salespeople will be able to keep all of their assets in one single document. So I don't know, pitches, proposals, stuff like that all in one place. Creatives who work for client or maybe for with the rest of the team, if they are part of a bigger organization, could gather all of their assets into one single workspace. Could be things like the guidelines they have received, some visual assets they are going to develop for the rest of the team or for their client, mood boards, different variation or iteration of the logos they are creating, branded templates they are creating for the rest of the team. So very, very easy for them to put everything under one workspace. Small and medium businesses could also coordinate their entire product launch strategy with documents, presentation, assets also in the same workspace. And teachers who could develop their curriculum, uh, worksheets, lessons, plans and also collaborate with other teachers or even their students from within the same workspace. So as you can see, this will work for everyone. And I'm sure you will find even more ways to use the all-in-one visual suite. The last thing I want to say before I wrap up this video is that this feature is going to be available to everyone. Free, pro, every user will access this. In my opinion, it's a great way to have everything centralized. Obviously, that's the main benefit, but also it accepts accelerates collaboration in Canva because now if part of your team is working on, I don't know, social media, another one is your designer working on the assets and then you as the founder or the decision maker could have your strategy documents, everything in one single workspace. So it really makes it easier to work as a team and make decisions as a team as well. All right, guys, this was definitely one of my favorite features announced at Canva Create. And in the next video, of our playlist, Diana is going to run you through everything we know about Canva Sheets, aka Canva's attempt to make spreadsheets awesome again.